and welcome to Naya in Kilab News. Jams and updates on all the major stories. I'm Hina. Let's begin with the headlines. The state government on Saturday accorded administrative sanction of Rs 545 crore for the construction of 15 bridges along Musi and Isa rivers. In addition to decking up the place, these bridges will improve connectivity near the water bodies. Municipal Administration Minister K.T. Ramarao challenged the BJP leaders to stop hate-mongering politics and compete with TRS in terms of development. He said that loose talks Histrionics or obstructing development was not politics and would do no good for people of the state. Femina Miss India World Manasa Varanasi planted a sapling at Indira Park as part of the Green India Challenge on Saturday. The beauty pageant winner shared that as children of the planet, we all have a responsibility to protect and nourish it. The Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation's Directorate of Enforcement, Vigilance and Disaster Management, EVNDM, sealed five commercial establishments on Saturday. All educational institutions in the state will reopen from February 1, Education Minister P. Sabita Indra Reddy said on Saturday. The minister said the COVID-19 safety precautions should be strictly enforced in all educational institutions. The management of schools, teachers and parents should take appropriate COVID-19 safety measures, she added. After Bharat Pay, co-founder Ashneer Grover went on voluntary leave. His wife has also gone on leave amid the board's review of internal governance process. Money Control reported citing sources. Madhuri Jain Grover heads control at Bharat Pay. This isn't about a legal notice to Uday Kotak anymore. It shows the scope of the board's investigation has widened, a source was quoted as saying. Even as reports emerge of a new lethal variant called Nubcov that requires only one mutation to infiltrate human cells, doctors on Saturday advise people not to panic. Nubcov has been discovered by scientists from the Wuhan University in China in a bat population in South Africa. While it has only been known to spread among these animals to date, the variant has shown the potential to penetrate human cells in the same way as the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Currently, there is no direct evidence that new cove affects the human body and we should not panic or get stressed. Dr. Rahul Pandit, member of National and Maharashtra's COVID-19 Task Force. India has reported 2,35,532 new COVID-19 cases and 871 deaths in the last 24 hours, said the Ministry of adopted a cat named Willow. It is the first feline to live in the White House since President George Washington Bush cat India. Photos of the cat were shared on Twitter by First Lady Jill Biden on Friday. Willow will join Commander U.S. President Joe Biden's the German fact Shepherd. That the internet is a haven for mind-boggling and bizarre content cannot be denied. Well, you will also believe it after watching this video in a clip that has gone viral online. A woman can be seen making cotton candy in a clothes dryer. Manchester United forward Cristiano Ronaldo met Dubai Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum at Dubai's Aura Sky Pool, the world's highest 360-degree infinity pool. Good to see you too. Welcome to your home. Dubai Crown Prince wrote on Instagram while sharing a video. Earlier, Ronaldo spent Rs 50 lakh to light up Burj Khalifa with girlfriend's face on birthday. People from New York City to Maine awakened Saturday to half a foot 15 centimeters of snow and forecasters warned that could more than quadruple as a powerful nor'easter kicked up blinding blizzard conditions with high winds and the potential for widespread power outrages and coastal flooding. Turkey's president has fired the head of the Turkish Statistical Institute, which is responsible for posting official inflation statistics, among other data. The army takeover in Myanmar a year ago that ousted Aung San Suu Kyi not only unexpectedly aborted the country's fledging return to democracy, it also brought a surprising level of popular resistance, which has blossomed into a low-level but persistent insurgency. Now gold rates, 22 karat gold rupees 45,000 and 24 karat gold rupees 49,100.
dollar rates. One US dollar is equivalent to 75 Indian rupee. With this, I end up with the headlines. But before that, let me remind you that please don't forget to press the bell icon, like, share and subscribe our channel. Take care.